The Obsidian Collection Archives is succinctly a collection of digitized black history. Newspapers, photographers, photojournalists, churches, small community archives, and different organizations, not only in the Chicagoland area, but around the world. You know, the world naturally looks to journalism as a depository for things people want to know more about. The Obsidian Collection is responding to that call with opportunities to tell our story with our images and our words. The reason I started the Obsidian Collection Archives is because essentially I was looking for my grandmother's images. My grandmother had a charm school and historic Bronzeville. And when the last elder in my family died, I had decided, oh, I should go to the Chicago Defender and get cleaner images than what we had saved in our own personal archives. It's there that I learned the archives of black institutions were disintegrating. The Obsidian Collection Archives is a great opportunity to help black people reclaim their narrative. There's just a rich history of like pictures and, and films of black people in Chicago that is in someone's basement right now. now. It's important to digitize your family archives and family history because it's something you want to refer to. It's something that you can you know, tell your children. It's the thing that you have left when you get older. We bought the Lou Palmer Mansion because Lou Palmer was a very famous and celebrated black journalist here in Chicago. And we're gonna make it a co-working space for young content creators. It's gonna allow the next generation of black storytellers to tell accurate stories. And it's important that we prove the concept of our workshare space. We've gotta get the coach house open first. It is a 6,000 square foot building. And we're gonna have a lot of our youth programming in there. And so this is where we need your help. Thanks.